Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dem Congresswoman has finally been arrested, and it's not pretty. Nobody is above the law. Representative Pramila Hayapal, a Democratic Congresswoman from Seattle, Washington, and an all-around Marxist, protested the president's zero-tolerance immigration policies yesterday on Capitol Hill. It was some kind of women's march and she was arrested with approximately 575 of her comrades. The protesters marched from the Department of Justice to the Hart Senate building, where they sat and chanted in an act of non-violent civil disobedience, which led to the arrest of about 600 women. They were charged with unlawfully demonstrating inside the atrium of the Hart Senate office building in Washington, D.C. Almost 2,000 women showed up to protest and included in their ranks were Democratic senators and other politicians looking to push an open borders agenda. They chanted We Care and Abolish ICE. Abolishing ICE has become the new favorite talking point of the left. It's part of the communist agenda along with doing away with police officers and prisons. The protesters are demanding that Congress act to end Trump's policies that criminalize and detain undocumented immigrants and separate detain families. Democratic Senators Ed Markey of Massachusetts, Maisie Hirono of Hawaii, Kirsten Gillibrand of New York and Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut were also at the protest to support those going after President Trump and his policies. Senator Tammy Duckworth showed up in her wheelchair with her daughter in her lap. Nothing like using your newborn as a piece of political propaganda for a cause. The protesters have their fur up over the separation of families at the border, which as far as I know isn't even an issue anymore. Trump has reunited families as of last weekend. Now, the cause du jour is the call for not imprisoning families as a whole. Let them all go. See how that works? Voila! Open borders and no one is an illegal alien anymore. But, as of right now, we are not prosecuting families that come over. I think they are just sending them back which works for me. The left has ignored President Trump's actions and are engaging in grandstanding and massive lying to further politics on their side. All the lawsuits, judicial orders and protests are over a non-issue here. Hayapal said she was arrested at the Hart Senate office building on Capitol Hill. It was not a pretty sight. She said she was protesting the inhumane and cruel immigration policies of President Trump. I was just arrested with 500-plus women and at Women's March to say at real Donald Trump's cruel zero-tolerance policy will not continue. Not in our country. Not in our name. June 30 we are putting ourselves in the street again. No one is above the law and the women who were arrested were being disorderly and making a scene. They broke the law and were busted for it. Hayapal had it coming. She is an extreme leftist and enjoys being provocative. Of course, she was arrested, processed and released right on the spot. They almost always are. The rally was organized by the Women's March in the Center for Popular Democracy. The women sat in the building in protest of Attorney General Jeff Sessions and President Trump's zero-tolerance policy that maintains a hard line on illegal border crossings. I'm proud to have been arrested with them, Hayapal said. They were arrested for illegally demonstrating in a government building and charged with crowding and obstructing others. It took place inside the atrium of the federal building as part of the hashtag Women Disobey protest, according to CNN. Demonstrators reportedly wore mylar blankets, similar to ones given to children detained at the border. They want to create a big moment up here on Capitol Hill the day that many lawmakers will wrap up their legislative work and head home without addressing the family separation issue, CNN correspondent Sunlin Serfati reported. Crowds from the Women Disobey March disrupted traffic in the streets of Washington earlier in the day. Not long after being released, Rep. Hayapal gave an interview about the protest, saying women were sitting and chanting in the Hart Building, drawing attention to the tragic situation, of, children who were in cages separated from their parents, parents who are seeking asylum, who are in prison. Hayapal said the demands are simple, they want Trump to reverse the zero-tolerance policy, free the children who have been detained and reunite them with their parents, and allow the parents to seek asylum in accordance with due process laws. She's not in control or in a position to demand anything of the president and she's lying. I'm just so proud of these women who understand what a serious moment we're in and what a cruel and inhumane and intolerable and un-American thing we are doing thanks to the Trump administration," Hayapal continued. Hayapal has previously visited immigrant mothers who were brought to a federal prison in Seattle, some of whom have been separated from their children. Even after a federal judge ordered this week that the administration reunite the families, she says it has yet to happen, when I was in the federal prison, I saw a slip of paper that a mother handed to me that had her name her identification number, and then supposedly her kids, except she said, these are not my children. So we know that the Trump administration has no idea which kids belong with which parents and where they are.
That is not true and she knows it. We have a lot to do, and this is still a crisis of extreme proportions, Hyapal said. As a member of Congress, it's a shame that this government, my government, is doing this to children. I think it is a really beautiful thing that people are allowing themselves to feel so deeply the tragedy of what we're doing. And that is what's turning them out, so I'm just grateful to people who refuse to let this de and who are keeping it at the forefront even with all the important issues we have in front of us. It's this kind of dishonesty from leftists such as Hyapal that is ripping this country apart. And that's what they want. She should have been put behind bars to cool off and consider her actions, but there were too many to arrest. Still, this is the sort of thing that leads to unrest, chaos and violence in the streets. She's not above the law and she should have to answer for her actions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.